Hi, I'm Larry Sablotny, pastor of Whiteheads Grove Baptist Church in Smithfield, Virginia. Just a few days ago, I received a post from a pastor, Pastor Judge, of a Baptist church here in the United States. And I was impressed with what he wrote and what he shared. And I want to share these words with you today. Pastor Judge posted this. I was reminded of an incident that happened a few years ago. An apparent homeless woman came to our church for worship. About a year later, I received a book in the mail, The Undercover Bag Lady. As it turns out, she was not homeless, but was doing an experiment to see how different churches of different denominations reacted to the presence of a homeless person in their midst. Her encounter was her visit to this church, Pastor Judge's Church, in Chapter 2. The book, Kimberly Bowman, an undercover bag lady. She quotes Jesus, whatsoever you do in the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. So she writes and shares her experience. She, uh, after serving many denominational churches and helping to serve the homeless for 30 years, Kimberly Bowman set out on a social experience that was decades in the making. A lifelong curiosity and in human interaction and a passion to enact social change distinguish themselves in the undercover bag lady project. Carefully disguised in tattered clothes of dirty rags, Kimberly Bowman assumed the life of Jean, the homeless bag lady, and approached 10 different churches from the heart of the Bible Belt. Over the course of eight weeks, she attended Sunday morning services and took the note of reception her indigenous character received. From outright hostility to overwhelming generosity, the undercover bag lady encountered the full spectrum of humanity's potential for acceptance. Now, in chapter 2, she writes about the Baptist church that she visited. She writes in that chapter, and I was excited to read about uh, chapter 2 and her experience there. She says she was warmly welcomed at the door. People shook her hands, welcomed her to the church. When she sat down in the pew, somebody uh, offered to sit with her. Someone invited her out to eat lunch after church that day. Someone else invited her to go shopping that day so that she could buy her some clothes. When I read the chapter, I was wondering, how would our church, and even you today, how would your church react to having a bag lady come and worship at your church? Better yet, how would you personally react to someone like this coming to visit your church? James said this in chapter 2, beginning of verse 1. My brethren, do not hold your faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ with an attitude of personal favoritism. For if a man comes into your assembly with a gold ring and dressed in fine clothes, and there also comes in a poor man in dirty clothes, you pay special attention to the one who is wearing the fine clothes, and say, you sit here in a good place, and you say to the poor man, you stand over there, or sit down by my footstool. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil motives? Listen, my beloved brethren, did not God choose the poor of this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him? But you have dishonored the poor man. Is it not the rich who oppress you and personally drag you into court? After thinking about that, and we studied this uh, passage of Scripture in our church recently, I've come to the conclusion that I believe our church, Whiteheads Grove Baptist Church, would warmly receive this person and anyone else that comes to our church with open arms, with a loving spirit of acceptance, and invite them to come and worship with us. I would invite you to come worship with us today. We invite you to come this Sunday at 11 o'clock at Whiteheads Grove Baptist Church. We're located at 18366 Ben's Church Boulevard near Smithfield, Virginia. Our service starts at 11 o'clock. We'd love to have you worship with us in person. But if you live outside of our area or unable to attend, then we'd invite you to worship with us on this YouTube channel. Also, I'd want you to, if you would please, subscribe to our channel. Just hit the subscribe button there on this page and then hit the bell, which would indicate to you 
that you would receive uh, notifications of when we go live and when we post a new video. That would help us a lot. Well, we trust you'll come worship with us this Sunday if you can. If not, watch us on YouTube this Sunday morning at 11 o'clock, and then uh, the service will also be available to watch later in the week. So hope you have a good week this week. Keep looking up because Jesus is coming back soon. Have a blessed day and stay blessed this week.